Hello everyone, thank you so much for clicking on this video. This is Peaceful Ambition. So since you clicked on this video, that must mean that you are interested in our topic today. And that's great. So today guys, we're going to be talking about anxiety. Honestly guys, I feel like I'm the queen of anxiety. You know, I have a lot of bought up anxiety inside of me. You know, fear, just a lot of things that I'm learning how to control. So like I always say guys, if I'm working on it, I'm going to pass on to you guys so you guys can work on it also. Because we're uplifting each other, we're working on it together so guys since you clicked on this video make sure you share it make sure you comment or have that conversation and also subscribe if you're not already subscribed you never know how the, you never know how this video can help someone else so pass it along so guys let's get started let's talk about anxiety okay so let's talk about what is anxiety so I went ahead and you know looked it up so anxiety within itself is just the intense persistent worry or fear about everyday situations you know fast heart rate rapid breathing sweating and feeling tired all can occur when you're feeling anxiety now guys there's different types of anxiety for example we have just the general anxiety disorder social anxiety separation anxiety and also obsessive compulsive anxiety or disorder so there's different types of anxieties that people can go through but for the most part it's just fears that we have every day and it causes us or causes our bodies to react in a certain way and like I said guys I feel like I'm the queen of anxiety um, you know I deal with panic attacks which I'm working on and much much better you know I used to be to the point that I have a panic attack while driving have a panic attack randomly so you know I learned how to control them I found out what my triggers are and you know now it's like you know I still have anxiety but it's to a certain extent so I know how to work them so I want to go ahead and also show you guys how to work them because, you know, when I didn't know how to work my anxiety and I just had them, my panic attacks, and they came over me out of nowhere, it was unbearable. It was to the point that I felt like I wasn't living my own life. I was living through anxiety. So guys, I know how important it is to conquer this. I know how important it is to not live every day with extreme anxiety. I'm not saying that you're not going to have any anxiety because that's normal. You know, we're human beings. We're going to fear things. We're going to have worries. So that's normal. But if you have anxiety to the point that you feel like you don't want to be around people, you don't want to go places, you just, you know, you're always thinking too much and you're having those panic attacks all the time, something needs to happen. So, guys, I am not a doctor. I am not a psychiatrist or anything like that. These are just simple steps that I took myself to help me with my personal anxiety. And, you know, I'm not ashamed to say that I have anxiety or that I had anxiety attacks or that I still have anxiety attacks. Like I said, we're all human. I know who I am, I know my problems, I know my issues, and I also know that I'm working on them. So as long as I know that I'm working on them to make myself better, I'm perfectly okay with that. And I hope you guys are too. One thing that you should always remember, no matter what you're going through or no matter what you have or don't have, never feel ashamed of yourself. Because that within itself can give you anxiety, and we don't want that. So let's talk more into it. Okay, like I mentioned, there's different types of anxiety. So, you know, what triggers one person may not trigger another person as far as their anxiety. So, let's just talk about how can someone get anxiety. And like I said, guys, these are all just my personal opinion. So, for me, how I got my anxiety is something happened to me in my life that I guess I could say traumatized me. And instead of taking it head on or focusing on it, solving that issue that I have with that ex with that problem, I stuffed it under the rug. I act like it didn't happen and it eventually came back to haunt me. So guys, when you go through something in life and you're not taking it head on and you're just trying to, you know, sweep it under the rug, act like it didn't happen, that can come back to you. So that's one thing that can trigger your anxiety, not dealing with things head on. Also guys, if you're just a, you know, a fearful person or a person that, you know, thinks a lot in their brain, which is me, that can also cause anxiety. Sometimes you're thinking too much. Sometimes you're thinking too much into detail, into detail that, you know, it's not going to happen. You're thinking before whatever happens. You're thinking plan Z and plan A hasn't even happened. So guys, overthinking can really cause a lot of anxiety. Also guys, low self-esteem. You know, I dealt with that a lot in school. If you have a little self-esteem, you're going to think that people are talking about you. You're going to think that, you know, you're not good enough for something. So it's going to get you nervous. Okay, so let's talk about controlling your anxiety. So before I get into that, I just want to let you guys know, one out of five people deal with anxiety attacks. And that's just like everyday anxiety attacks. 
So, you know, one out of five, that's pretty big. And it's probably even more than that now. Um, so if you are dealing with bad anxiety or anxiety attacks, just know that you are not alone. There's other people out there like myself that deal with it every day. And you can still be functional. Don't let your anxiety rule you. Actually, guys, that's number one point with solving your anxiety. Don't let your anxiety rule you. When I used to have those random panic attacks, I had to find a way to get my brain out of that and to rule over the anxiety, not to have the anxiety rule over me. So you know, I started to think slowly. I started to slow my brain down. I don't know how to explain how to slow your brain down, but that's something you have to conquer. But you know, just breathing, calming down, knowing that everything is going to be okay, that can help you. So don't let your anxiety rule you. Second thing that helped me with knowing my anxiety, like I said, guys, finding my triggers. Once I found out what my trigger was to trigger me to have those panic attacks or to feel like I'm having anxiety, I try to stay away from them as much as I could, at least in the beginning until I learned how to control my anxiety attacks. So when you find your triggers, okay, so when I'm driving, I start getting anxiety. Maybe you should cut out driving for a little bit. Or, you know, when I'm around a lot of people, I get anxiety. Maybe you should cut out being around a lot of people. Not saying that you have to change your whole life and structure it, but when you're sick, you have to make yourself better. And this is no different. So when you're feeling like you're having anxiety because of a certain thing, you need to slow down on it. If you can, you know, going to work, I have anxiety. Not saying don't go to work, but maybe you need to take a few personal days. There's nothing wrong with that. You need to remember that you are you. And no matter what happens, it's going to happen to you. No one else is going to even feel the effect as much as you are. So we have to learn how to control our anxiety, find those triggers and slow down our brain and just figure a way how to solve your issues. You know, issues are not always going to be solved right away. So it's going to take some digging. It's going to take some time. But as long as you're willing to put in the time and put in the digging, you're going to be OK. So guys, number three, we're trying to solve your anxiety. I will say just learning and moving on. Like I said, I had experience that kind of traumatized me and I kept playing it over in my head and I really didn't know what, what did I learn from that? Why did I have to go through that? You know, sometimes people keep on questioning, why did that happen to me? I hate that I had to go through that and this and that. But guys, sometimes you just have to know like there's no answer. People go through things in life and sometimes you just have to get over it. So, you know, if you can learn a lesson from it, learn that lesson and know next time it's not going to happen to me anymore. Or I know my lesson. I know to stay away from that situation. So you have to learn those things and you have to be willing to really stand on your two feet and say, I'm not going to put myself in that situation again. Because if you think about it, I'm okay. Let's say, you know, you went to a party, you got wasted and someone took advantage of you. And now you have anxiety when you're around crowds. So now you know if you do decide to go to a party, don't get wasted. You're putting yourself in the same situation that built that anxiety in the first place. Just go to the party and have fun. You don't have to do all that extraness, of course. So guys, you know, this is a quick video like I always just want to do. I just want to teach you guys to control your anxiety. I know it's hard. I know it's not easy by any means. And I know that anxiety can happen to anyone. If you're dealing with anxiety, there is nothing wrong with you. You are a normal person just like everyone else in this world. Just know how to control it. That's all we need to do. So guys, I thank you guys so much for watching this video. Comment down below or have that conversation with me. Make sure you share this video. You never know how I can help someone else. And also guys, I love y'all. Peace out. Peace with ambition.